So it's not going great. I don't. I got the flashes working. We got a bunch of other stuff working. Uh, we don't have tail lights, but we do have headlights, and we're thinking it's in the turn signal switch here. Um, uh, it, it's a pain already just because the the wiper isn't working properly. And out of our three trucks, uh, we only have uh, one that works so so, but the wiper still it comes on. It has a hard time going off. So this wiring is as frustrating as can be. I hope it's all worth it just to get it all back to original. We want, we're, we're not gonna let it go unless it's 100% right. Um, but that doesn't mean that it's not frustrating in the meantime. Uh, we wanna make it perfect for them. So we wanna leave the wiring as original as possible, but it is proven to be a, a giant pain. Um, because Dodge seemed to do so many different things even online there's three different versions of this switch so which one do we get and, uh, and it takes time to figure out crap now what are we where are we left with the 92 the 91 or yeah uh, we're getting there um, but in the meantime just to pick ourselves up a little bit I think we're gonna get ready to fire this thing up so at least we can hear it run um, get uh, a little bit of exhaust coming out of the shop and maybe that'll be the motivation to kind of get pumped about the, the truck again just to make us feel that we did have um, some sort of progress. So yeah, here we go. When I got into the project, he gave me this, uh, the owner gave me the engine. I've never actually heard it run yet. So he says it purrs like a kitten and I'm taking his word on it and that's I resealed it without actually hearing it run because it was in such a bad shape in that other truck that uh, um, we uh, wanted to reseal it and everything first um, and then we were looking for cabs and stuff and and uh, yeah I never actually fired it up so we checked the we just just put the oil in it and uh, no cooling in it yet but uh, I hope that uh, we don't have any issues because if it doesn't run then we're in Big trouble. I gotta undo everything, so here's fingers crossed. Here we go. We're not gonna run it very long because uh, the transfer case still has to come in, and there's a bearing on the counter shaft that can pop out, so I put a washer on there for now just because I wanna hear it run. And uh, I'm not, we know that uh, the key power works, and we've got power on the solenoid. Um, I'm still just going to do it by hand, kind of hot wired here, just on that one bolt on the VE because if I want to shut it off, I want to be able to do it right away. And then I'm just going to, um, the starter doesn't work yet because our clutch neutral safety switch is broken and the master and the slave are in order. So they're coming. Um, we do have the brake booster here and uh, all the brakes and stuff, but we're still waiting for that, a turn signal switch. And... Um, couple other odds and ends here and there, some power steering lines, and uh, yeah. So we can we can get it running, we're going to swap the back axle yet, and then, uh, then we can finish off the exhaust. I've got the exhaust ran back to the axle with a 3 inch and a brand new muffler, and then it's going to go to a 4 inch over top. So we're going to try and keep it quiet in the cab for the family, and then, uh, but when it's driving by, you still get a nice little rumble here. So we're gonna, uh, we got a bled, we got lots of fuel coming out of our uh, bleeder screw here. We got some hot wires going. I can hear it click on the pump now. Something's going under the dash, that's good. So here we, here we go. Sounding a hundred percent, but well, that's good anyway. At least it runs. I know it runs. It doesn't round sound good, but it hasn't ran for a number of years, I think. Um, I'll probably play with the uh, injection pump a little bit, try and adjust the timing if that's out. Otherwise, when it's running and uh, everything's hooked up, got cool in it, I'll start cracking injectors, make sure all the cylinders are doing what they're supposed to. I set the valves when uh, I uh, put new valve cover gaskets in it, so the valve set should be fine. Um, but uh, at least I know it runs. So, yeah, here we go. 
So guys, wondering uh, on some opinions of what we should do with this truck after it's running and safety and on the road and ready to go uh, paint job wise. Now the owner is thinking a white on the top with a red stripe in the middle and then white on the bottom again. And that does look really sharp. That's right out of the era. That's, that, that's uh, time period correct. Uh, and it would look really sharp, but it's also going to be really expensive because he's going to have to fix everything 100% and get that nice shiny straight line. Um, the other alternative is to do a matte black finish in it, get rid of the chrome strip, um, maybe leave this one, take it, I, I'm not sure. Um, I would uh, polish up the steps so that they shine like a million bucks along with the bed rail on the top of the bed. Put some nice smoke roof lights on the top and uh, it would be a lot cheaper because we can plastic dip it. So, um, and if we're ready for it later, we can just peel a little plastic dip off and, and then do that coat afterwards. So I don't know if anybody's had experience with plastic dip, but yeah, let me know what you guys think and uh, we'll see what the votes are and talk to the owner and see what he comes up with in the end. Thanks. So follow a variety of projects that include conversions and repairs to anything from Ferraris to chainsaws. And check out the tape boss, my newest invention that's coming to market. And remember, if you're not filthy, you're not rich.